Welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in the last video of this video series we have seen about the array type array and array contains function. So before going forward in this video I would strongly recommend to watch that video if you haven't watched. So in this video we are going to see about the map type map key map value and explode function. So these functions are very important. So what is the map type function so basically map type function you can assume if your data is having the key and value pair that is in terms of python dictionary if data is in dictionary format then map type will be there so in pyspark it is calling as map type data type for key and value pair and what is the map key so map key is nothing but the key part of that data and what is the actual value that is the map value and then explode we'll see so as per the today's agenda first we'll see about map type then we'll see map key map values and then explode function so explode function what is that so it is used in PySpark data model to explode an array or map related column into rows so let's assume if we are having any column which is the array type or that column is the map type then how we can convert those key value pairs into the rows we can use the explode function so don't worry we'll see in this video so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so here as you can see first i have ex imported all the data types and after that in the data you can see we are having the country is the first column second is the state and what is the capital of that state we can see over here so for uttar pradesh capital is lucknow similarly for bihar is patna for MP is Bhopal, for Delhi is New Delhi. So like that we are having the data. And this data we can see is having key and value pair. So this data is in dictionary format. Similarly for the second row, the country is US and then we can see state and the capital of that state. Now, how we can design the schema for this? So for designing the schema, first we are required to use the stack type. Under the stack field, here we can see we have total two columns first is the country column and second is the state and capital combination column in the map type data type so here first you can see i have designed this as country and the data type of that will be string second we can see state capital and similarly the data type of this will be map type and what will be the key and the value so all the key is in string as well as the value is in string so that's why the data type we have defined as string here we are simply creating the data frame let me try to execute this and we'll see the output of this so now here as we could see we have already printed the schema if you can see here we are printing the schema as well so the data that we can see is having country india us then state capital over here so this data is in map format so we can see the schema so country is string format and then state capital here the value is in map and this map will be having again two columns under that key and value pair and both is the string format so here we have used about the map type now here we can see the state capital so this state capital is in a key value pairs so next we just want to create two additional column here first for the key and second for the value so how we can do that so for that we have to use the explode function so first for it using the explode function we have to import it from the sql library so sql dot functions then i am going to import all the function now here i am going to use the df dot i am going to use the select and inside this select I am going to specify the columns so first I just want this country column second I want this state and capital column now here we just want to add two more additional columns for the key and value pair so how we can get that for that we can use the explode function so inside the explode simply we have to pass this state and capital so this state capital is having key and value pair so it will automatically generate two columns and those two columns will be key and value so let me try to see the output of this so this is df1 let me try to execute and we'll see the output of this okay so here as this is the case sensitive so c should be in capital letter let me try to execute it again 
here you can see we have not explicitly defined this key and value but while using the explode function it is automatically adding these two columns one for the key and second for the value and how we are getting this we are getting this from here so for India we can see total four rows we are having because in the key value pair we have total four rows Delhi Bihar MP and UP similarly for US we have total three rows so that's why we can see three here now so this is the main purpose of using explode function so the explode function can be used inside the array as well so let me go and try to use this map key and map value function so what map key and map value function will do if you are going to use the map key then it will be going to fetch only key part from this state capital column if you will be using map value it will fetch only value part from here so let me quickly show you that so let me try to remove this explode function from here let me execute so it will have only two columns as we can see now let me try to use map keys so this function we can use and under that we can simply pass this state capital column and now let me try to execute and we'll see the output of this so it is having this map key state capital we can also specify the alias of this so let me use the alias and under that we can call this as key let me execute and we'll see the output as we can see here we are having this is an array of only key like Delhi if you can scroll down Bihar MP and UP so only key part is coming here you can also use the explode out of this so what explode will do it will be going to separate these array into different rows so let me try to use the explode here and you will see we will be having this into different rows as we can see Delhi Bihar MP and UP so like that we can split it now we can also use the value so let me use the values instead of this keys so what it will do it will be going to return only the value part that you can see only the value part are coming so now we are having values so if you are going to use the explode function it will automatically split your dictionary into two different co columns one for the key and second for the value explicitly you can also use the only key or only value part so first you can use the map value or map key for the value and key respectively and after that we can use the explode to split that into different rows so I hope guys you have understood how we can use the map type map key map value and explode function so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video